Hey, 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 what up, what up? It's your boy Toby D. You are now tuned in to my Christian Audio Podcast, Faithful All Fans. Now, without further ado, let's jump right on into it. Of course, many of you know that training camp has officially started across the league, and the Falcons had their first day with fans coming out, getting a sneak peek in 2016 to see what their team is going to look like going forward. And the first thing I want to talk about is our running backs, Devontae Freeman and Tevin Coleman. Now, word was that they wanted to give Devontae Freeman a little bit more rest because they didn't want him to be running out of gas closer to the end of the season. And they were going to basically commit to a running back by committee. Now, which is something that Kyle Shanahan is normally not known for, but he did do it with the Cleveland Browns. Um, with Isaiah Crowell and Terrence West. So we'll see how that goes. Now they also have been getting these guys out more on passing routes. Now we know that is a strength of Devontae Freeman. But the the interesting thing is that they're getting Tevin Coleman also involved in it. And when you got a guy with that much speed and athleticism that he possesses, then you have to be able to utilize this guy. Of course, he's getting involved in kick return and punt return also because Devin Hester, of course, is gone. Speaking of somebody gone, Charles Godfrey, excuse me, has retired as an Atlanta Falcon, um, formerly of the Carolina Panthers, was their third round draft pick. But he is gone. He's out. I didn't see him making a safety group anyway, to be honest with you. I think this safety group is going to be too competitive for him to make it and young at that because he is older. Um, Kamal Ishmael might not also be a lot to make this safety group as well, but we'll see how that goes and the competition goes with Ricardo Allen leading the way. Also, what I wanted to talk about is Tevin Coleman, this is the second time after being interviewed that he has raved about the Falcons defense. He says that these guys are much faster. They're moving around a lot quicker, which means they have a full understanding of the playbook at this point, being in their second year in the system. And he is excited about what they are going to bring to the table, which makes me also excited. Now, Dan Quinn talked about Austin Hooper. Austin Hooper seems to still be doing his thing, making some tough catches as well as Muhammad Sanu, Justin Hardy, and Aldrick Robinson. Get used to this guy. Um, Julio Jones mentioned about his deep ball ability to run on deep routes and get open. I think this guy is going to make the team. Um, A guy that already knows Kyle Shanahan's offense from being in it at least two years. So, we'll see how all of that goes. I project there's going to be a lot more acrobatic catches this year than we're probably used to seeing from this Falcons offense with Raheem Morris um, embracing his new position as wide receivers coach. And I'm excited to be able to see that. But now, for me, that is all I have right now. Again, my name is Toby D. Please comment and subscribe. Faith football fans, peace. I'm out.